You're listening to the Cyberwire Network, powered by N2K. Around every entry point and every clever attacker, Vectra sees the attacks others can't. How? Vectra has AI on it. Vectra's AI attack signal intelligence tells security teams where to focus, what matters. It wades through thousands of individual threat events so you don't have to. Attackers infiltrating your network? Vectra has AI on it. Attackers compromising your identities? Vectra has AI on it. Vectra AI, the integrated signal powering your XDR. Visit vectra.ai slash show me to learn more. That's V-E-C-T-R-A dot A-I slash show me to learn more. My name is Arati Borker. I am the head of product for IBM Security. I grew up with doctor parents which meant there was always this hope in the house that I would end up becoming one. But my passion lay in math. It was just my thing. You know, I finally sat down with my dad and said, yeah, not not going to cut people open for a living. Um, what I'd like to be is an engineer. And then I moved around a bit between... Um, I loved chemistry, so I, I toggled between computer science and chemical engineering as a as where I wanted to be for a little bit, but I just landed on computer science, driven by my love for math and logic. So my bachelor's degree was in computer engineering, and that included both the hardware and software elements of things. My favorite space in that time frame was databases. I thought it was the perfect combination of human problems and computer science kind of pulled into one. I then have a master's degree in computer science, which was a combination of my two very complicated choices. One was databases and the other was computer networks. And at the time I got it, At the turn of the millennium, I think it might have felt weird for someone to think of networks and databases in one degree. Now, when you think of cloud and AI, it sounds like the smartest thing I could have done, but there was no thought behind it. It was the two things I loved, and that's what I went off and did. I decided I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do. So I took a sabbatical as part of that sabbatical, ended up joining IBM with the intent of going back. And I spent that nine month sabbatical working on a pervasive computing database, which meant it was a little database. It was supposed to sit on mobile devices. At that point, it was like Palm Pilots and you know Sony had some phones that it would sit on. And it was just really intriguing. It was a mix of databases and networks for me. So I I love doing it. And one of the VPs at IBM said, well, if you're so intrigued by that, we should send you to business school. And I had this conversation with my professor back at USC. And he goes, to be honest, you know, your heart seems to lie somewhere at the intersection of tech and business. And you might be better served going to business school because you already have a master's in computer science. Then at some point I went into product management that my engineering friends call the dark side. But uh, for me, it was the ability to to call BS on my engineering colleagues when they give me, you know, weird assumptions of what the tech would do, but at the same time, take that tech and make it viable for a market. I have responsibilities around um, the vision, the products, and design across um, you know three plus billion dollar business that IBM has around security. So makes for a fun day. 
no one day looks like another. Get to traverse between deep technical discussions, my favorite topics very often being around use of AI for converting security into predictive domains. And then sometimes it's just how do we get into a new business relationship or how do we go into a new country that we're not doing as much business in. So the gamut is pretty wide. I love to say follow your heart because the reason I get up every morning is because I want to do this. Don't make a decision because someone else thought that was a good one for you. Choose your own career, make your own choices versus letting someone else make them. Take the time once in a while to see if you are on the right path because people change, their loves change, their wants change. So staying on a path because you started there is also an equally bad idea. Being willing to change is uh, needs to be part of one's thought process. Quick question. Do your end users always, and I mean always without exception, work on company-owned devices and IT-approved apps? I didn't think so. So my next question is, how do you keep your company's data safe when it's sitting on all those unmanaged apps and devices? 1Password has an answer to this question, Extended Access Management. 1Password Extended Access Management helps you secure every sign-in for every app on every device because it solves the problems traditional IAM and MDM can't touch. And it's now available to companies with Okta and Microsoft Entra and in beta for Google Workspace customers. Check it out at onepasswordcom slash cyberwire. That's onepasswordcom slash cyberwire. 